to a man who's angry because those little green people keep coming and stealing his chickens and taking them back to the mothership. Feel free to turn that one over to Elder Mike. Um, there's no need whatsoever to come to me. Uh, but the point is, each is an opportunity to witness. Listen. Meet them where they're at. Find out what's going on. Gather information. Don't wing it, folks. Don't think that because you don't have this book memorized that you have to improvise. If you don't know the answer to their questions, be upfront. But also recognize that's an opportunity. It's an opportunity to go get their answers and to come back and share with them and to study with them. If you don't get it, don't worry about it. You will, because now you have something to work with. Remember in Luke 10, <clears throat> the sending out of the 70s, Jesus sent them in twos. Now, there may be numerous reasons why he did this, but I suspect one of those reasons was Jesus knew the gifts and talents of those he sent and how each would complement the other. Take advantage of that. Number five, don't rush it. Don't overwhelm and don't judge. Remember those who God put before you are seeking, they're searching. They're trying to figure this whole thing out. Don't overwhelm them with stuff, okay? Don't be right out of the gate as a Seventh-day Adventist. Well, the first thing you got to do is learn about the Sabbath. There's a book on that. <laughs> is that a bottle of wine on your counter? Oh, no. No, no. Let me share with you what Sister White says about that. Who? Sister who? They're not ready for that. Is that cigar smoke I smell? Oh, we're going to get you into our program right now. No more of this addiction. Don't go there, folks. If I, I can't say it enough. Listen and meet them where they're at. Don't judge them. Don't overwhelm them with books and pamphlets and this writing and that teaching. Every denomination, every Christian religion has its doctrines, its teachings, its traditions. And I'm not up here bad-mouthing the Seventh-day Adventist core beliefs. If I didn't believe that, I wouldn't be up here to begin with. But there's a time. Remember Pastor Boonstra's story. God's truth will reveal itself in time. If their hearts are ready, God's truth will reveal itself. You were sent to support. Let the Holy Spirit lead. Contrary to the popular saying, Jesus has never been a co-pilot. He's always been the one flying the plane. Number six, stay in touch. Be accessible. Don't do the one and done or the two and done and fall back on your crutch. Well, God has planted the seed. No. Don't get discouraged if they don't move at your pace. And don't get discouraged if they don't move at all. If you met at least once, then you left with information. Get with Sue Edict, Discover Bible School. Get them a Bible study. We have many great Bible studies. Send them a Bible study, if possible, on the very topic or topics that they were inquiring about when you first met them. Then follow up. Hey, I'm just calling to see if you received the Bible study. Have you haven't had a chance to look at it? Is there anything I can help you with? Keep sending them the new studies. Use the resources you have at your church, your pastors and your elders. Share your experience with them, your progress, and use us where we may be of help. Remember them on holidays or if you know their birthday. Drop them a card. Let them know you're thinking of them. 
for some, it may be the only Christmas card they get. Do they have anyone to spend Thanksgiving with? Many don't. Invite them. Share with them. Above all, act out of love. This is not a competition. All right? The person to whom you witness is not some award for your trophy case. They need to be nurtured. They need to be guided. They need to be helped. Be there for them. Your reward awaits you in heaven, as does theirs. Be there for them. Walk with them down the path that Christ has prepared, that he has put you both on. So many of us have been blessed to experience the transforming power of Christ, yet so many yearn for that experience. Jesus commissioned us to a higher calling. Let's not make light of that calling. We must allow him to work through us that we may fulfill our role in bearing witness to the power and the glory of him. He provides only, he's the only one that can provide what every soul he created needs. And he has given each of us a responsibility in that commission. Remember that because it is that important. Thank you. While we still have that spirit-filled message in our minds and in our hearts, let's stand and sing Bringing in the Sheaves. into our lives that you have transformed us 
Lord, instill upon our hearts to share the same message with others. Whenever you present us with one who needs to hear your message, let us be there for them. Let us help them, Lord, walk down the same path to salvation as we ourselves are on. These things we pray in your holy name. Amen.